Welcome back to Seven Shades of Mercury. Doesn't sound like anybody's coming in here. I think we can turn all the lights off. Alright. For your information, the Academy visit to the Imperial City of Thelonia will take place on the 25th of this month. Please ensure that all attending acolytes are fully equipped for combat practice and study. And this means that all written assignments must be placed on my desk by the 24th. May I take this opportunity to wish all involved a safe journey and a successful trip, as those who's Im who impressed might well catch the eye of various members of the Imperial Council, who will reportedly be attending some of the ceremonies and combat trials. Principal of Excantium Academy. Theology exam results for White House Class 2. Randall Hopkirk, 78%. Brendan Quickly, 45%. Stomach Clamp Punishment. Ooh. Percival Forrester, 92%. Astamir Ripley, 71%. Trenchant Wishenboard, 85%. Ian Gretchenson, 67%. Sanitation Duty. Maximus Egotisticus, 91%. Disappointing. Catacatus Macamulianopoulos, 75%. Artifact, 87%. Honore de Quintus, 81%. Shivan Christophorus, 91%. Richard Head, 34%. Dragon Isle Barrack Farm Punishment. Rene Ecanthus, 75%. Roman Spondicus, 70%. Eustace Moromir, 74%. Benny Bendicus, 69%. And Ogric Humus, 73%. In consideration of thy spiritual progress, the clerks of the great architect of Gurra hath graciously added some few names to the tally of fortunate acolytes who shall be receiving upgraded holy texts this year. Herman Solemnus, The Junior Prayer Book, Volume 59. Mervyn Ferryman, Year Subscription to Hammer and Anvil. Leela Gardner, The Junior Prayer Book, Volume 48. Albertus Horribilis, 2001 Advanced Wards and Invocations. Percival Forrester, The Hammerite Exegesis with Illustrations. Thomason Ulthus, The Junior Prayer Book, Volume 49. Okay. Essay Question 1. The fifth architect of Goya was well known for championing the Northern Republics and laying down the foundations of empire in this region. As this work hath lately received tremendous approbation from the Emperor, discuss the ramifications of imperial influence under the rule of Brother Constantine, and, in particular, its significance regarding the role of the architect of Goya himself. Answer the first. Brother Timnus sucks Barak eggs. I have seen him in the library quite a lot with those damn books of his that seemeth to be a part of his body. He stinketh and is a disgrace to the Empire. I shall not write any more bloody Imperial history until the whole area hath been fumigated. I could not study even when I should want to, but there's no chance when the henpecked lass is about. Where goes he at night anyway? Certainly not the washrooms, that's for certain. Hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling you're not giving high marks for that essay answer. I say question one. Yeah, 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 the same one. Say out about by Altarian S. If thou askest me, I would say that there is something a little odd about the fact that two of our most esteemed brothers have been situated in the north. Tis as if there were something strange going on that one should be needed to watch the other. The architect hath not of late begun his tour of the republics, for, saith he, there are not pressing and disturbing matters to attend to. And Constantine saith that he hath continued work in building upon the foundations. Though little hath been heard of him for some time, and unrest doth continue in the builder's northernmost house. It hath been duly noted before by the precursors that the time of the fifth architect was riddled with heathen conspiracy. What likelihood be there that such conspiracy hath filtered through to our own times, and doth even now infest our saintly halls through Constantine the Divine, or the most revered architect? Though surely this could not be, as both are most saintly men, and any such consideration of their role would appear to question the tradition itself of those people of the blood, and those that are spiritually blessed. Indeed, its significance lieth itself upon the structure of the empire itself and its future prosperity, thus affecting the fortunes of every order. The doctrines of the fifth architect have been investigated afore, and found to embody certain weaknesses and inconsistencies. Some scholars have noted that those that strip down the foundations of Imperial Republic doctrine to the level of the fifth architect of Goya are in some way creating for themselves an unstable future. Little has been mentioned in the tomes relating to this, though it was well reported that Ilfung II, that before his madness overcame at them, did draw heavily stylized flames about the page as he broke down his suppositions. Well, yes, that's much the answer I would have written myself. Um. 
Okay, Imperial influence, blah blah blah, roll of the architect to create himself again. Yes, yes, the fifth architect. Yes, the answer by Julie Max. The tremendous significance of the role of the architect of Goya in the northern region can not be more heavily asserted than with the hammer of most grand import. Verily, such significance regarded in the context of universal significance has most certainly accorded great status in the order of signification since such records were most duly begun in precursor chambers so many very historical years ago. Canst thou remember such great significance since thou wert alive? Nay, for such significance hath a significance all of its own, and the signifier of such significance must be most duly pleased to have such significance as part of their own proper significances in their lifetime. For his brother Constantine that hath continued the work of the fifth architect, though little hath been heard from him, and it seemeth that he hath begun twatting about, thus conveying great significance there upon the shoulders of our own significant architect. Indeed, the significance of the northernmostness of his location is indeed a signifier of deeper signification. That such signification could possibly exist, as there is quite a lot of trouble in that area. So it strikes me that any hassle that should arise would be most certainly significant in the eyes of our emperor. But what has signified this present state? Could it not be our own personal significance with which we grant the architect, or of the events themselves, or of the greatness that we accord unto he that is of the blood, Constantine himself? Truly nothing dodgy is going on our part on our part, for we aren't righteous and not dodgy at all. Quite signif quite significantly not so. So why anything significant should arise from peoples of great significance is significant only in the fact that the insignificant underlings that doth scrape their shoes are singularly failing to deflect significance and honour the builder's image. Or doth not the signifier signify his own signification, if there be no significance inherent in the gesture of iconic signification itself? It doth make one think, it doth make one ponder. The Book of Simple Exercises for the Undereducated Acolyte Question. If the Builder's Wrath travels at 75 miles per hour, and the heathen flees at 35 miles per hour, and is given 10 minutes by the Builder's mercy to flee, how many minutes until the Builder doth smite him down? Answer. None. For the Builder is omnipresent and can strike him down wherever he stands. Question. What maintenance procedures may us be followed in order to make thy hammer last longer and provide good use? Answer: All hammers should always be cleaned before storage. Use the right hammer for their job. Never use a hammer that is not designed for thy specific task. Injury could result. Strike not a hardened steel surface with a steel claw hammer. Metal chips shall result in injury to the user or to a bystander. Never leave thy wooden hammer in the sun where it may crack and dry. Never use a hammer with a loose or broken handle. If the handle is loose or cracked, replace it. Never use a hammer with a chipped, cracked, or mushroomed face. It is an accident waiting to happen. I think they're not coming in here. Acolytes are required to partake in at least six modules during each academic year. Half of these must be academic research, the other half of practical use. The standard training module is mandatory for every student and will involve such basic fitness regimes as whack a heathen and bucket get. Acolytes who earn extra credits beyond the required 120 per year may be rewarded with the title of Prefect. Imperial History Examination Invigilator's Notes Primary objective to test all initiates in the retention of official imperial history. Secondary objective to discover who may be involved in seditious anti-imperial activities in line with the epithets of the precursor order. Marks shall be awarded not merely for insight and details, but for invention in presenting a positive image of the Imperium. All who present a flawed account of history that presents the Imperium in a foul, heathen way shall be punished. Note to examiners, these procedures are designed to acclimate, accl acclimate initiates into the difficulties of their role as Imperial Guardians and Ordinated Brothers. It is essential that all invigilators walk around in noisy shoes, wearing earnest expressions and distributing pencils whilst fundamentally failing to relax their students. The time remaining should be repeated with pedantic vigilance, concentrating upon not only hours and minutes but seconds also, and particular attention should be paid towards making comments such as, Thou shouldst have question 3 done by now, and uh, Good noble students have already completed a whole page by now, and Tick tock, tick tock, time it waiteth for no man, and so forth. Harsh glances and quiet removal to the designated thumbscrew chamber shall be dealt to those who are caught smiling irrever irreverently or otherwise misbehaving. It hath lately come to the attention of the Dean that some students aren't fond of engaging in the practice of a series of sighs about the room. 
some of which have the sole purpose of discussing insults and lewd comments regarding invigilator's dress sense. All those duly accosted hath most unseemly responded, but I art only sighing, honourable sir, ye even when they canst not speak at all according to the rules. Upon which point such sighing didst occur that the whole chamber were like unto a charnel room of recently deceased corpses expelling air from their fettered lungs. Students. They are almost as bad as the heathens themselves. Very nearly so. Which side of the room am I on? On the north side. Some noisy damn floors. Alright, yes, these are the walkways that overlook. Oh, he goes in that room. Right, so we're, we're kind of down. This is the walkway that overlooks the courtyard. I didn't go in half of these rooms. I went in one set, but not all of them. These guys are noisy. And they both. Oh, no, I know that room. Right, 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 I know where we are. Maybe didn't need that, but... The master's bathroom and the master's common room. Right, right, right. Because that was... Are they walking down... They The room they duck into is the classroom that I came out of. Or is it? Yes, now I decided it was too dangerous to walk that way because of the double patrol. And what's that in the shadow? So they go into the common room as well. I am the builder's And back out. Okay. I have not been to the master's common room. out of here again remember in one piece and alive hmm they're both gonna patrol in here and I think they I'm not sure if they might be getting further apart on their patrols or not okay 3500 in loot that's how did we get that high seven it was like under 2000 last time I looked. Oh, there's all the plates and all the plates and candles from the dining room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so the problem I have is that there isn't a door at this end. We have to go all the way back out. I mean, we can go by the, the passageway we came in, right? That leads into the library. We came into this room from here. Right, alright. Okay. So now we're done with gold. Now we're done with the gold area. <clears throat> Ouch. Alright, very well. 
Took almost no damage. Let's have some cheese. Where is my cheese? I mean, I'm not sure we're done with the gold area, but we're done with the this room. But wait, the people patrol past here, right? I didn't actually check the room with the stairs. Oh no, that's the stairs. Right, that's the guys upstairs there. Those two, those two patrolling the hallway that hurt me. I think I'm safe enough to to go along here for now. I hope. Some window there. Where is that coming from? I don't know, is that a chapel? Looks chapel-y. No, it's just, it's, uh, this must be the bedroom of some others. That's loot? What? What? Ha! Huh. What the hell? I do not understand. What looks like a scroll counts as loot? Odd. I wonder if that's a bug or just a joke. No light switch here in the uh, fancy bathroom. No water crystals in the sinks either. All right, I think uh, the fancy bathroom has nothing of real interest. What about these chests? They might have things of interest. Pyrus. Dear Diary, once again my best laid plans are foiled. I scored no more than 37% in my hammer's symbolic dual usage examination. I made the builder cast these dastardly exams into the sulfur pits of Akusa. What do they prove but a student's memory? And once again my nemesis, Tomos, did gets the highest score. Why, he is just a Baffert, a son of pickpockets and con artists. I would not choose a dog of such low breeding. What is he compared to me, one of the great Benny dynasty? I have Emperor's blood in my veins, whilst he has mud. We shall see who triumphs in the coming team games. The blue team are weak, and his superior memory will not save him in the heat of combat, and accidents are known to happen during these games. I am an expert with a knife. Perhaps I shall slip convincingly. They would never expel a Benny. Never. Benny's a sacred. Well, a warning. Dear novice Wilfred, verily thou hast pulled, as a, pulled a bee's nest upon thine head. One of thy ranking should never question the moral values of thy betters and delve into imagined conspiracies. Not because thou might be wrong, but because thou might stray too close to the truth. I have received word that thy position at the academy is being reviewed which means that thou art being watched from the shadows at all times. If thou desire to keep thine heart of spanners upright, it would perhaps be wise if thou wert to blend in with thy fellow acolytes, participate openly with thy team in the coming events, and be at thy prayers instead of tapping on walls with thy hammer seeking ancient relics and passages lost. Oh. Tapping on walls seeking ancient relics and passages lost. There must be something. Where? Surely it's not just students' overactive imaginations. <laughs> upon reading upon the notes of Excantium builders, primarily the architect Alexius and engineer Danilius, I have found that there are notes on the construction of a secret chamber. This very chamber is rumored to contain the bones of Saint Excantium himself and his last worldly treasures. 
The Emperor himself will point towards my words. It's the quotation by Saint Exantium Innocenti that I dug up in the archives. I'm not sure what it means, but you have quoted previously that the Emperor is pointing towards victory. What does that really mean? I'll have to look for an icon of the Emperor pointing and follow his hand mission. I have forwarded this information to the student council, but they laughed in my face. What would be your next step, O oh, gracious headmaster? Should I pursue this as my thesis in hope of finding the illustrious treasure of Saint Excantium? Graciously yours, Corelli II. Well, apparently the headmaster wants him not wants to dissuade him. That's what the warning must be about, right? Hmm, the Emperor himself will point towards my words. You know what? We'll have to keep keep that. Oh, we can't. The Emperor himself will point towards my words. Guess we make some notes somewhere. What do we have? What do we have blank space? The Emperor, Emperor himself will point towards my words. And what's the other one? Uh, the Emperor is pointing towards victory. seen anything I could recognize as an icon of the Emperor yet, but then I have not been paying attention to statuary and decorations, have I? Is that upstairs? Or is that coming down the hallway? I can't really tell. That's coming down the hallway. So he goes from here back out into the courtyard, does he? I think. No. He keeps walking. And the builder said. If the foundation is weak through your way and natural teeth, do you ask it to re pour itself? Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. So shall it be with all my children, whether they be stone or flesh. I'm not sure where they go out to the courtyard from, but. Uh... Right, those two did cross the courtyard before, I'm quite sure of it. What's this room over here? Grand Excantium Library. Okay, right, that needs a key. Um... Makes sense. And this is the way to the blue zone, they said. Just marked on the map. They said, I mean, we marked it down on our map. Chase the trickster from our dreams. What have you all got on your face there? Is that a gas mask or just just a metal helmet? Mm -hmm. Fancy. Mm Hearing -hmm. more. Hang on, this is the north side. Oh, this is the door that leads to the bridge. Okay. I think I've been in this room already, but I guess we're going to go around and find out. Maybe we can get behind that sentry. 
Wait, 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 wait. Is this the door was blue? It's most unseemly for an acolyte to fly from combat. I don't think blue have any more treasures, but uh I really don't know, but yeah, that's the way this blue sewer is, okay. Look at the sewer map. There'll be the stairs here. That I never found. Oh, because they were they were blocked off, there was a barricade. Do you ask it to restore itself? Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. So shall it be with all my children, whether they be stone or flesh. Tread very quietly here. Still an earshot of him. So does he go out? Oh, right, he goes around the corner here and then goes out into the courtyard. So it's the northern side they walk across and the southern side they leave. Right, right, right. And I think I've been to every room on the southern side already. Does this guy have any... Oh, that's the, that's the doorway. Right, right, right. So there's some way into the, into his little chamber there. Probably this door here. But isn't this the storage room I started in? Or maybe this is the room adjacent to the storage room that I didn't actually... Right, I stole a valve off to here but I didn't come into the room. Right, 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 right. It's ringing a bell now. What's that in the shadows? I am the Builder's Rising Star. You don't have any money. You... useless gold person. Alright, so I guess the question is now, where do I want to go? Alright, I'm hearing this go downstairs. Um, okay, we could just go back down, that's surely not the silver, silver power room, I mean we got into a power room, it can't be silver, silver is over across the river, so that's the cemetery, that was the gold storage room, which is where we are now, so we'll be heading south and west. From here. I'm curious. Maybe it was just. I wrote silver, but maybe it wasn't silver. Right, I need to wait till he goes there, and then he's gonna come back and go down the north passage. Anyway, I'm a little confused. Is that... Let's check him up again. Uh, so I'm heading south down here. He's turned right. Right, I need to wait for him to come back and turn that way because I want to go to the south and west, right? I don't want to go back to the cemetery, no. I want to see what this... What this uh, power room is. And D would be inaccessible because it would be it would be going under the cemetery. That's interesting. There's definitely passageway there, but it's not clear that it was accessible passage. Well, it looked inaccessible. All time for another short period of waiting. I will say, I don't like this replacement compass, but it is easier to read than any of the other replacement compasses I've had. 
because it's still got points, it's still got north very clearly marked, so I can kind of see... It'd be better if it didn't have south marked, um, because that's slightly confusing, but... It's at least more readable than the ones that are just circular. The whole shape helps. Okay. So this goes into a power room, which I've marked as silver, but I can't. It's not silver. <gasps> Who's, whose room is it? Maybe it's the silver guy outside, but it's not the silver zone. It can't possibly be. Again, I didn't have a compass at that point, so I was just guessing. Oh, this is the... Right, 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 right. I know exactly where we are. This, this is the gold stairway. Yeah. All right. Now, oh. A was cemetery. B was blue sewer. Right. C gold stair. Gas trap. I mean, I don't really need that. Those notes. I misspelled trap. Um. So actually, I guess we do want the cemetery. I think we're done with this whole... No, we need to get into the library, but I don't have a key. How do I get into the library? Maybe I should be upstairs for it? Restricted secure library. I wonder. Does maybe. It is on the western wall. Does it perhaps conceal a passage to the main library? I mean, one would think not. It would not be very restricted and secure if, if so, but. One would hope so. Think not, but hope so. Because if it does, see, there could quite easily be a passage behind this shelf. How would you know? I do need a way into the library. The only way in to the purple library seems to be, at the moment, hmm, I guess the fact there's a light fixture on the bookshelf is a, <laughs> is a bit of a suggestion that it is not gonna have a passage because I can't do moving lights. That's I keep hitting the wrong key when I'm going for a rope. Right, and there was a block the lock box on top. This is surely a waste of time. Oh this was a secured room anyway. Go gently. And this was the master's library. Again, then maybe there could be a passage through here, but I have nothing to indicate there is. Nothing to suggest even that there is. So maybe I should be trying to get back to the cemetery then. I have not explored the courtyard. Right, I went down to the courtyard and then didn't then fail to explore. Just right, we followed those guys out. Oh, 
try not to be seen by those two. People are tossing coins in here as well. This is good news. Oh, those are nice coins too. Look at that. Emirate currency. It is awfully bright in here though. <laughs> well, that was worth, worth doing. 23 water arrows now. Nothing in that corner. Nothing in this corner. What does this tell, tell us? Hammer of glory rising from the black waters of despair. Yes, yes. What's this? Crumple pamphlet. Oh, yes. We know this. Alright, where do I want to go? I want to go back upstairs. God damn it. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get back upstairs efficiently. Alright, the whole southern end is not it's not full, right? We can cut across the south. Wait a minute. Am I am I got my head backwards? Seems to be somebody coming from the south. And the world went before him on a breeze carrying our salvation. Hmm. At last is a man with the mind of a general and the heart of a poet. Yet also with the hands of a builder. He will lift us up from this earth. Am I confused? Maybe it's a... Uh... The other guy coming as well. Maybe it's the eastern side that I'm. Oh, I don't. I'm confused. Well, they're definitely. Maybe. Maybe they bury their patrols up. Actually. Well, I want to be the southeastern end, right? That's where the lecture hall was. Stairway here. I've not re read this. Brethren are allowed to fraternize with their sisters so long as it doth not interfere with their studies. Rejoice, young lovers, for the Emperor gives unto ye his blessings. Ye are expected to dress in uniform for all their classes. Casual clothes may be worn on off days, off duty time, or weekends. All visitors are allowed to see you on the seventh day of the Builder's Blessed Week. Ye are expected to attend baths regularly. Only cravens and fools do not exercise this great privilege. Though the Order of Civilians are shaking up the Imperial laws, this doth not mean that the Legionnaire need not marry the girl if she is expecting. However, early marriage is not allowed and will most likely result in a drop in thy grade. The Alchemist's root of Illicerima must be consumed upon every tenth day in order to prevent any accidental marriages. Bunk beds are for all novices, regardless of the circumstances. Marriage is allowed only for 10th plus level novices. A single wife is customary, however more are an allowance. Private quarters or single beds are given only to 10th plus level novices. Upon successful graduation, every novitiate shall be given the status of Imperial Sentinel, Ferrum Protector Acolyte, a bookkeeper, or a legionnaire. A sentinel is allowed to rent a room anywhere in the Imperial land. Acolyte is allowed to rent a room anywhere in the Imperial land. A bookkeeper is allowed to rent a room anywhere in the Imperial land. A sentinel may advance to the status of Imperial Legionnaire if he hath successfully completed five years of service in, in the Empire, or hath received awards from Imperial Generals or Athelonian nobles. A sister is allowed to join the Imperial Legions only if she hath successfully completed a three-year service in the Sepalian Legions. A Legionnaire is allowed to own property no larger than 50 by 50 by 50 feet anywhere in the Empire. 
that's that's smaller even than the uh, than the small cubed uh, contest, uh, which was 64, wasn't it? 64 by 64 by 64 feet. Upon completion of a 10-year service in the Imperial Legions, the Legionnaire shall receive his citizenship in the Empire and will be allowed to settle down with his fair loved one and purchase or own any amount of land. Okay. So I was just in this room before, right? Now this is the power room. I'm just not 100% sure where I want to be going. Cemetery, right? Right, I want to stay on this floor. I want to wait for these guys to go. And then turn right. I mean, I suppose I could put the torch out and go now. There's an awful lot of waiting around. Yeah, there we go, we'll go soon. So I don't need to worry about the ones upstairs as long as I'm quiet. Which means maybe I shouldn't talk so much. horrible white team as well. It's a shame that your vigilance is just not quite sufficient. Okay, so this is the southeast corner. There should be a door into the lecture room from here, right? I've checked that. There it is. Okay, from here we get to the cemetery. Back to our home turf. A bit of a fright looking at that guy for a minute. And from the, from the cemetery, we have access to passages leading north to the red zone. I have no idea where the purple zone is, but uh... all right. Oh, we're going to have to wait for this guy. I think he turns left at the top of his patrol. Maybe I'm wrong. He turns right. So I shall as well. Whoa, these stairs are incredibly steep. I'm going to have trouble walking back up them, I think. That looks like a tripwire to me. Let's check our map. We are in... We're here. In red territory. They have legionnaires with torches on the ground floor. This is a pretty dang impressive cathedral as well. I am very glad. I mean, it looks like a noisy floor, but it isn't. Okay. Let's check this door. It's a big tripwire, but I guess it's a... Oh. Well, he doesn't have a... He's an archer. This isn't the second floor. This is the ground floor. Isn't it? There's, yeah, there's another floor there. Wait, he's just walking through the tripwire. To thy own foundation and trouble not the blocks of thy brother. Cheating. Can I repair this? Nope, that's 
Unfortunate that should be built as a Ribeiro. <sighs> I could leap onto it. Well, this will get me to the upper floor. Oh, this is odd. I'm standing inside it. Um. Oh, right, it's just got bad collision rectangle, so my rebel was actually hitting the stern behind. Okay. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but whatever. So it won't give me the second floor. I mean, maybe I could leave, maybe I could climb that. Dear E, it is said that there is known to some, amongst the inner circles of imperial power, a legend that doth lie outside of the precursor's thinking, something so outlandish and immeasurable that not even the fevered minds of its most dedicated priests have so far been able to render it into, an, into a coherent form. It concerns an event variously described as the Schism Matrix Fault, the Aborted Paradigm, and the Severance. For the purposes of our most clandestine discourse, I shall henceforth and hereafter refer to it by the Latin nomenclature. Please note that in the event of the severance occurring, there are several notable predictions amongst those that have studied the subject. The parchments bear little resemblance to our own build of blessed language, deriving as they doth from the days before the schism of the Central Hammerite Republic. This is very clearly a matter of tremendous concern for the precursors, whose very name and existence revolveth around these early days in the foundation of our great religion. They still, to this day, pour it over the transcripts in the hope of gleaning some insights into their past. What remains from that age is a smattering of rumour and cultural artefacts. Many have no known resource, and it is most curiously claimed that they are merely deceitful relics sent into this world by the long-dead trickster god of the old religions, whose wealth of power seemeth always to be in dispute by the precursors. Most say that he was a minor deity, others a being of incalculable power. I enclose within this document a selection of these parchments. Be aware that they are very old and should not be tampered with lest they fall to dust and taketh their secrets with them. I hope they may be of some interest to you. Where better than our most esteemed, esteemed ex Academy Academy to unlock their secrets? I trust I need not remind thee to keep this most sensitive matter secret. Gee. I wonder if those documents might be referring to uh, the events of uh, the Dark Project, hmm? Right, so I could, I could probably jump from the desk up to that wall over there. But we have another door yet to explore here. Hello. Or oh, this room, mayhaps. We'll connect upstairs. Yes, indeed. Uh, okay. Let's check the map again. Hmm. I'm, I'm a little confused as to the layout of this place, because this does not seem like a separate floor. There's a level above this as well. Well, as long as there seems to be nobody with their eyes on me. Oh, hello. I see. We have a certainly have a place we can hide from him. Does he have any purse? No. Right. 
Ah, oh, here's, here's one. Here's the guys. Torches all coming at once. I have a feeling they were stuck in uh, an efficiency pit. Unfortunate. I mean, fortunate for me because it means the patrols all bunch up. Enter to thine own foundation and trouble not the blocks of thy brother. For the builder reigns destruction on the soul of the But from a gameplay perspective, it's better for them not to be bunched up, right? Shit. It was a fucking tripwire. Today. Dang it. Yeah, those bookcases are having a bad collision is, is a bit. The villain shall fall. He's unfortunate. I could gas him. I've got a gas mine, I've got a gas arrow. Die! Thou shalt fall before the builder's might! Or I should could just wait for him to move on, I suppose. I don't think he knows saw where I went. Shall be smitten by the builder's hand, oh bow. I don't know how they saw me because it was quite dark where I was moving. Maybe this is, maybe the tripwire alerted them all. Well, that was that was a little close for comfort. Well, while we're here, we might as well try and. Do some safe cracking, right? Oh, that's a surprisingly easy safe. Oh, this is where they keep their icon. Build your roof of prickly iron vine. Build your wall of the hoofed one's lies. Build your dreams of heretic rhymes. Comes the builder now, wielding righteous wrath. Severs evil bind and serves redemption. Through crushed skulls and dying crongeries. Praise the Builder for his mercy on the unenlightened, for all must come under the hammer of judgment before the end. Prophecies of the Dead Man, Volume 4, Passage 6. And I remember reading a note about a gold inkwell, right? No? Shit. Is it not this one? I guess it's not this one. What am I stuck on? Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's unexpected good news to have got the red team icon so soon. I did not think I would have found it. Uh, it's unfortunate news that I nearly got murdered finding it. So do they patrol into this room normally? Here's the question. I don't know. Right, North Transept. Is this the office of the Inquisitor that I'm in? With an X marked here, so maybe somebody does come in here? Hmm. I'll leave this door open and sit back on the safe and just wait a few minutes, maybe? <gasps> Thing is, I can't, I can't use safely sit by the doorway and watch. Can't really safely hang around in that room and watch. Um, so it does mean it's kind of awkward position. You know what? I'll end the episode here and keep some of those minutes off screen. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'll see you soon for the next episode.